One of the things I have to do is to prop it up, it says rock or something. Very specific instructions. Today we're going to see what happens if we intentionally misuse some MRE heaters. Guys, this is an MRE heater. MREs are meals ready to eat, it's military or field rations, and sometimes you want them warm, and this is what you use to get it there. Uh, to bring in an expert on this subject, we have my friend Tyler, who is in the military. So Tyler, tell us real quick, what is an MRE and why do we want heaters for them? An MRE is a meal ready to eat. Basically, it is the modern field ration for the modern war fighter. In like the Civil War and World War II, you had to carry around cans of food, which were quite heavy. So the intent behind this was for it to be lightweight, provide more calories for consumption, as well as a warm meal for comfort's sake. Here's the basic idea. Military meals are heated up by a small chemical reaction in a bag. We want to try and take those bags, open them up, see what's inside, and see what happens if we intentionally use them wrong. So these were developed as a, an easy and generally safe way to heat the meals up. Um, I read some of the specifications for like what they have to be and it's like it has to be able to heat up a meal to 100 degrees Fahrenheit within 10 minutes and not pose a significant risk of fire or something like that. Uh, and so this is the method. If you've ever used those little hand warmers where you just open them, it's full of iron powder which reacts with air, turning into iron oxide. Exothermic reaction it heats up. It's very similar to that but it uses water instead of air. And inside these little packets, there is a combination of iron, magnesium, and salt. Those all combine and have a very similar exothermic reaction to those hand warmers. It's just a little bit faster and a little bit hotter. I think to start, we're gonna look at the proper use of one of these heaters uh, by I... heating up this meal. Yeah, okay. and then we'll go to the improper use, which is gonna be a lot more fun. Well, here we go, here we got water. It shows it's got lines at the bottom, so you're just supposed to fill it up to these lines with water, and then I think it just kind of squishes and all the water gets all over it. So yeah, you just put your meal next to the heater, and then you dump some water in it. So normally, yeah, I wouldn't even look at the line. I would just add a certain amount of water from my canteen or water source. Nice. And I'd say I usually start with that. I usually kind of squish the water around. That might even be too much. And then I'll try and seal it till it forces itself to be unsealed. And then you set it on a rock or something. So cool. I'm just gonna add some water to this one and I'm not gonna add an MRE, it's just gonna be. I actually think I added too much water. So yours will probably be a quicker demonstration. So as the water starts reacting and it starts putting off heat, it's not just putting off heat, it's also creating hydrogen. That's gonna take probably another few seconds to a minute before it actually starts doing anything, but then it's going to balloon up quite a bit probably. This is showing the cardboards at about 100 Fahrenheit, so definitely some heat. This thing is showing up at 150 for a second. Wow. So we've now got steam. It's yeah. escaping out and around the bottom here, but I'm curious, I wanna see, <laughs> is this just steam or? Uh, hydrogen. So as I said, I believe this is actually hydrogen in the bag. Hydrogen generation. Oh, cool. Ooh, staying burn. Now it's just burning the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was burning hydrogen too, but the plastic actually caught on fire. So usually what you do while it's heating is you eat all your other snacks and treats. Most of the food's gonna be fairly dry, especially these vegetable crackers. Crackers filled with little cheese and stuff like that. Would you like some? jalapeno Ooh, oh. cheese spread with your vegetable cracker? That looks like it may not still be good. Like it's probably safe, it just doesn't look good. So the jalapeno cheese spread might be one of the first things to expire. Tastes just about as good as it normally does. So we've got some napkins. Nice. A towelette, salt, gum, crushed red pepper. So let's go with the main meal. And at this point I would have finished all my snacks, and I would now fill that. Oh my goodness. You have a warm meal. So for the main meal, we've got Mexican style chicken stew. I just wanna say, I know that Crazy Russian Hacker has probably tested all these before, but I haven't, so. Wow, delicious meatballs. I actually have too much flavoring and not enough water here. It's supposed to be with 20 ounces of water, and this is only a 16.9, so. Probably gonna be a little too concentrated.
I've had worse. Chicken stew, right? Yeah. It's just kind of like a chicken chili kind of stuff. Is it spicy? A little. I was kind of testing very carefully to see if it was going to be too spicy. No, that's like, as you said, perfect, perfect limit, perfect heat. All right, so we're going to be testing out the so-called Tabasco bomb. That is the source of pranks, military on military, soldier on soldier. Just in case it's actually intense and we don't want to subject ourselves to it, we're going to be doing it in this pot. But then to scale it up, because apparently we need to scale it down and scale it up, we're going to do several at once. So we're just going to have some saran wrap cling film over the lid of this pot and then we're gonna throw like three or four of them in here and see what they do and then maybe carefully open it and see if it's pepper spraying ourselves <laughs> so while that's heating up and preparing to tear gas us all what i wanted to try was to take all of the powder out of one of these measure out the appropriate amount of water and then mix it in and see what the reaction does if it's not in the containers. Okay, yeah, some of these do look like they're maybe on the verge of popping themselves open a little bit. I'm curious how potent it will be. Me too. <laughs> all right, so I've measured out what should be about the right amount of water. And this is just all of the powder from one of those. and I'm gonna try and pour this into the middle. To me, honestly, this seems like way too much water. What is the chemicals here? Magnesium, iron, and salt. Okay, so don't do this. Gen salty. Gently salty. Slight like chemical taste, but I am gonna go rinse out my mouth. 54. Compared to the rock that doesn't have that. 48. Oh, I just hit 80. 84, 85. Maybe we did it wrong. Maybe Not by never Tabasco? being the victim or the perpetrator, you never learned I quite the I told you, an entire bottle. We could also just, yeah, drench one in Tabasco. It's actually activating from the Tabasco Yes, itself. let's do that! Let's add a little bit of water. We're activating it with Tabasco That's sauce. That's good. I think we're I think we're probably there. Yeah, you're right. Yup. A little more intense now. <laughs> okay, it doesn't hit my eyes. I breathe it oh, in. Oh yeah. And you just Ooh. cough immediately. That hits your sinuses Let's, pretty good. I'm gonna open the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like. Horrible, you know, you've, but just you've like, experienced like being tear gassed, right? Right, so a lot nowhere of- Nowhere near oh that level. Gosh. Yeah, so a lot of military branches, at least I know for sure, my experience in the army is at basic training, you go through the gas chamber. Yeah! Woo! That's magnesium fire right there. Partly. Huh, yeah. Also some other stuff. There we go. Grape drink. Isn't that fun? <coughs> We've got four of the heating pads in one bag. We're just gonna seal it, then we're gonna cut a corner off of it, and then we're going to add water into it and just see if we have one spout where all of the steam and hydrogen comes out, if we can make a good sort of mini flamethrower. And away we go. Oh, I'm losing it. Go ahead. Ooh, that is hot. Just, it refills itself very quickly with more. All right, there you go. I think it's that starting to awesome. self fuel a bit. There we go. Oh, yeah. Ow. Okay, nearly 200 is not bad. <laughs> Somehow, oh, it's just burned along the edge. Yeah, I think it's escaping now. All right, guys, MRE heaters. Thanks to our friend Tyler for stopping by and sharing how they're normally used and joining in the fun of misusing them. This whole idea was brought to you by Reddit user Muffin the Bear. So thank you, Muffin. And if there's anything else you would like to see us try with these MRE heaters, please let us know and maybe we'll give it a try. 
comment war when you eat apple pie? Yes or no with Tabasco sauce? What? You've never heard that? No, because it's nonsense. <laughs> Guys, that's it for today, but you know we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.